guys, today we made it out to this very secret facility located in New Zealand and I want to share with you guys Streetwear's best kept secret. In fact, most clothing brands don't want you to know about this, so I want to show it to you myself. Come check this out. In this video, we made it out to the other side of the world to the beautiful country of New Zealand. A country that blew me away in its natural beauty and surprised me with their sustainability efforts and attention to every single detail. This is also where I discovered how the softest t-shirts in the world are made. And it begins with one key ingredient, cotton. When it comes to cotton, there's five types of cotton globally, which include Pima cotton, Upland cotton, Egyptian cotton, tree, and Lebanon cotton. Upland cotton makes up to 90% of the cotton grown globally, and in the US, it makes up 95% of our production. But the secret to the softest t-shirts in the world are the ones that use Pima cotton, which is considered to be the most luxurious cotton in the world. Why is Pima cotton considered the most luxurious cotton in the world? Part of the reason can be attributed to where it's grown. Places like Australia and Peru typically have wetter climates, and this results in longer strains that are more durable, breathable, stronger, and softer. Making the softest t-shirt in the world begins with selecting quality fabrics, and the quality is determined by the type of cotton. It's safe to say that there's levels to cotton. At the bottom are all the low price cottons that you typically find in cheap graphic tees. This is the kind that scratches your nipple after a day of wearing. A cut above is Upland cotton, which is found in most major brands such as Gap and Old Navy or typical department stores. Then comes Egyptian cotton, which brands such as Amiri and Armani use. Now some would argue and say that it's superior to Pima cotton, but the difference is that any cotton out of Egypt is considered Egyptian cotton, so you don't know what strain you're getting. But Pima cotton stays consistent in quality, is more breathable and absorbent than Egyptian cotton, which helps it rank higher. Brands such as Lacoste, Tommy Hilfiger, and Ralph Lauren use this in their product lines. But the softness of a t-shirt is only part of what makes a quality product. Because when it comes to quality, strength and durability play a major role, which is where a cotton such as Australian cotton comes into play. Australian cotton is a cut above Upland cotton and is similar to Pima cotton in strength and softness without the premium price tag. This allows companies such as AS Color to produce premium products that are built to last the test of time and maintain their integrity wash after wash. Now what's amazing to note is that this company started with a simple t-shirt out of a garage 18 years ago, and today they operate five distribution centers globally, which power clothing brands of all stages to access a premium offering with no minimum order quantity. We're also gonna be showing some of the things that blew me away in this facility, including the world's largest t-shirt vending machine, which has over 20,000 totes and millions of dollars worth of t-shirts as well as how this team operates to design wholesale products that aren't just t-shirts, but also include bags, hats, jackets, and much more. In addition to this, I'm letting you in on some secrets of how brands such as Supreme, Stussy, and DC started and grew in the market. So let's begin with how the fit of a t-shirt played a critical role in their brands. Join me as we speak with Larry, who's the founder and CEO of this business, and Joe, who is the head of design. You start with the fabric, and then you work on the fit, um, and that can take a long time and that's you know to do with all the specs and the measurements. So this t-shirt here has an inset sleeve. This is like a cl your classic t-shirt kind of shape. This one on the men's t-shirt is your raglan sleeve cut. So this is where your sleeve seam comes through to your neckline at the front and back. This has a bit of a, a slight kind of drop shoulder cut to the inset sleeve. It makes it drop off the shoulder a little bit gives it that street wear edge. That makes sense. So you yeah. relax it here and it comes down more so it's not so tight up on the top. Right, right. so you're not worrying about uh, your arm holding too tight or mm. things getting too restricted. Now as a brand owner, it's a lot of work to manufacture your own cuts and styles from the ground up. And this is where wholesale blanks come into play. Now, when it comes to AS Color, they're truly changing the game because they're not just doing the basic t-shirts and fleece products. They're really elevating it by producing stuff such as bomber jackets, nylon, quilted, pants, shorts, almost anything you can think of. But it's equally important to understand how you can embellish these products. You can get inside, you can get inside underneath um, so screen printers, you know, when they're trying to embroider it, they want to get into here right. to get the logo in, so they don't want things obstructing it. So we've designed products. Um, Joe and the design team are always trying to make sure the product is easily accessible for printing. Now the jacket we're showing you here is a wholesale blank that's available to purchase from their site. The way that the team created this jacket allows brand owners to fully customize this garment and make it seem as if they were the ones to make it from scratch. Now the best part is that customers are unaware that this is something created by AS Color. And this is a similar strategy to what Stussy and Supreme did when they got their business off the ground. They used wholesale blanks and were able to expand into new product categories quickly without having to put money into manufacturing. You see, by using wholesale blanks, you no longer have to come out of pocket for manufacturing products in bulk. Because these blanks combined with supplies from websites such as streetcrafter.com, it allows you to create a quality garment in minutes. 
And with less than $100, we were able to fully customize this jacket, something that would have taken thousands if we did it the traditional way. We then took it to a luxury shopping mall to get real audience feedback. Can you guess what they valued it at? A lot of print for it? I would do, uh, sorry, I would do $8.99. $8.99? $9.99. Incredible. Okay, thank All right, you. thank you guys. What would you price it at? It's got the inside lining. This is the upper part of to a thousand. Guys, this was insane. And in an upcoming video, we'll show you all the details, but this is truly a testament to the quality of what AS Color is doing. Equally important though, is how the facility operates, which allows you to purchase and get products delivered anywhere in the world fast. This is where the t-shirts live. Okay. Yeah. So this looks like something out of a futuristic movie, like yeah. a Terminator. <laughs> so my first warehouse, the roof was only this high. Um, four warehouses later, this is our newest facility. Let's see it. Let's see it in action. Yeah, Where let's do go we start? It. So as you guys can see, there's a lot of different stock located on these shelves, but then there's also an automation side. But what's really cool is that it actually starts here. Now, it wouldn't be proper if I didn't get my hands dirty in this job. And a fun fact is that I was meant to work with Esse, who's a driver of this forklift. Because in New Zealand, a Maori language greeting is que hora. In Spanish, it roughly translates to que onda. So by combining the two, you have que hora ese. <laughs> now, after safely being tucked into the harness, me and Esse received our first assignment, which just happened to be at the top of the building. Let's go as high as we can go. <laughs> That's a really small <laughs> down there. <laughs> wow, there's even stuff up here. Yeah. This looks like, um, like you know your uh, your parents attic when you yeah, just but... when you just stock stuff yeah. back there you're just like let me leave all my old stuff with you mom this is as high as i've ever been on a forklift oh, really? now the reason the shelving goes so high and the forklift is so close to each side of the racks is to maximize the square footage remember how i said that in new zealand everything is so advanced in design and architecture they truly think of all the details that make this possible now every time somebody orders from their website it gets taken from the t-shirt vending machine this requires that it be reloaded by a warehouse member with a forklift. This forklift moves carefully with the help of tracks hidden under the ground and it brings them into their picking zone. Once the pallet is filled up, it comes into the t-shirt vending machine loading zone. Once the products are picked, they're actually gonna be replenished into this area over here. So it's telling us we need 12 units in here. And once the product is stocked into this t-shirt vending machine, it is now ready to take on orders and ship products out of this warehouse within 30 minutes. Did it. <laughs> in a moment we put it to the test ourselves but before we do i wanted to share something that i noticed here something that i haven't witnessed in any other supplier i've ever visited and that's the genuine happiness people radiate it's not a pretend to be happy for the camera happy but people genuinely enjoy the work they do here and it shows to this collaborative setting in the office they have design marketing logistics e-commerce manufacturing and operations all on the same floor they all have a pulse of what's happening and they honestly all genuinely like each other it's really crazy to see and personally this was inspirational for me because this is just one location of five that they have globally in addition to multiple retail stores that they operate around the world this truly is a global team that's working towards the same mission and the customers can feel the love and attention to detail through the products that they purchase now for brands that are just getting started, it's difficult and expensive to build a team to do this. And that's the reason why brands such as DC, Etni, Supreme, and Stussy all started with a simple t-shirt that they sourced through a wholesale company. And before starting AS Color, Larry was a sales distributor of some of these brands in the late 90s. And he shares some strategies and takeaways that new brand owners need to consider. So you started your career with DC Shoes, Etnies. Those are all really iconic like skate skate brands for even me growing up in the 90s. Like. Yeah, so we were the distributor in New Zealand, so I worked for the distributor and I was in charge of like sales and marketing for New Zealand. What were some of the lessons that you learned from some of those big brands that maybe people can can learn from and use for their brand today? Um, I think, you know, you've, when you're running a brand, you've got to look at every part of the, how it looks to the customer. I mean, at the end of the day, we're here for our customer. And so everything the customer sees of, is of the highest importance, whether that's the photography, it's the website, it's the box or packaging the products presented in. I think, you know, every touch point of the brand needs to be of the highest caliber. And I think, you know, the way those brands, you know, evolved in the late 90s, you know, early 2000s, you know, they were like market leaders in their industry. and very driven by marketing was a big part of those brands, you know, how they presented the brand from, you know, the, the ads that run in skate magazines or, you know, the team writers they had and, and the people they aligned themselves in the industry. So, you know, I think that's a really key thing with any brand, whether it's starting out today or tomorrow. 
is about is really about thinking of how you're presenting it to everybody who you work with. Yeah, I mean, the customer's at the core. Of, at the end of the day, you're here for your customer. Without a customer, you don't have a business. So you basically need to make sure you, you know every touch point is focused towards the way you want that brand to be perceived by your customer. How are some of the successful brands using AS Color to help grow their market share and help really establish their brand? Yeah, I think the benefit of using a supplier like us is that when you're starting out with a new label, you know, you can't afford the inventory to make a thousand shirts or a thousand jackets. So, you know, that would tie up a lot of your money. So, you know, the benefit of our business model is that we have stock service of, you know, our core products and you basically can rely on us for inventory and we you can get it within a couple of days and you can try new designs out and see if it works. And eventually, once you get big enough, then you can go offshore and do your manufacturing. But there's a lot of benefit of using a local supplier that's close to your market. So we're here for our customers to build great blank apparel products for them to put their logo or embellishment on. So, you know, it's built around the quality and we exist because there's customers there that want a you know really high quality blank apparel product and they're interested in a t-shirt that falls apart after three or four washes they want something that's going to last 30 washes and that's why i think most customers are blown away by that how fast we get the orders out and if you look at the investments we've made into the warehousing and logistics side of the business we can get orders picked within 30 minutes and out the door to the customers 30 minutes yeah. from the time they place their order to yeah. the time it's in the box yeah and it's amazing how fast it is now, they claimed it would be ready in 30 minutes, so we had to put it to the test. So we went over to ascolor.com to order a couple products, and we submitted the request. Guys, when they said that it ships in 30 minutes, it's real, because we were just having a little bit of tea, and it's already in the process. So let's hurry up and get it done. I'm going to actually pack some of these orders here. What's really cool is that this computer will actually tell you exactly what you need to pick. So this one just came in. There's a medium here confirm it's a medium but it's already all packed before it arrives once we hit okay the next one comes in it gives you some time so now it's telling me hey i need to pack this order so this order is ready to go for a customer it'll print out this label and this label i affix it to the top of this one and now throw it in the trash hit confirm that one goes out and now I'm actually going to pack my own order. So, so it's picking the large one that I chose. Putting it on this table here. I'm going to hit OK. Now it's got the blue one. You see how we chose the brown, the blue, and the hat? It all comes in order. This is crazy to see that like it's literally in the order that I placed it. So we're going to hit OK. It's moving. <laughs> and the hat. The hat that we place an order for. One size black hat. Hit OK. Now that's it. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to place these into these totes. This tote is going to be the one that goes down to the facility where it's actually going to go into shipping. So are you ready to follow along with it? Let's see what happens. Guys, check that out. All these lasers, this technology, is making sure that you get the product that you ordered. And why, and why that is important to your brand that's just getting started is because you don't have to invest in any inventory. You could choose as little as one unit to get started. But more importantly, you can rely on the fact that whatever you order is gonna come out right. So let's go check out this final product and deliver on the fact that this is definitely streetwear's best kept secret. What's really cool that I've been noticing about AS Color is that their commitment to reducing waste in the entire fulfillment process. I mean, you don't see any bags or packaging here, but they also keep a really clean facility in order for it to ensure that it's, your products aren't gonna get dirty by the time they arrive to your door. So I've been blown away by this factory and by this overall distribution center and by the brand, by the team here. And the product quality definitely speaks for itself. So I highly encourage that you guys check out the links through the description right down below to place a test order. And hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video as we're going to be releasing a couple different videos about AS Color that's going to be diving into details such as cut and sew and things that you need to know if you are going to be developing your own brand. They have a wealth of knowledge and I'm excited to share this all with you guys. So make sure you hit the subscribe and turn on the post notification bell for future notices of those videos. Oh, finally. Oh, nice shot, John. Finally. <laughs> Here you go. Ah.